Hydrocephalus is a disease where a patient has abnormal buildup of fluid inside their skull. This can lead to all sorts of neurological symptoms, such as trouble walking, impaired cognitive functioning, and in very severe cases, can even lead to death. Hydrocephalus is not a rare disease. In fact, it has been estimated that up to 1 million people in the United States currently suffer from hydrocephalus. So, what treatment options do these people have? Today, doctors insert a drain that connects the inside of the skull to the abdominal cavity. This drain lets the built-up fluid inside the skull escape into the abdomen. This system is called a shunt, and is also the only method currently available to patients with hydrocephalus. This test stand represents the pressures in the head and the abdomen. Shunts operate under the assumption that fluids in the head are at a high pressure and will flow into the lower pressure abdomen. This is called a positive pressure gradient. However, this assumption is not always valid. In rare cases, the patient will have a negative pressure gradient, and the shunt will not allow fluid to escape the skull. For the past year, we have been developing a new medical device that can address this challenge. We call this device the cephalopump. The cephalopump would be implanted during routine shunt surgery, acting as an add-on to any existing shunt system. Near the skull, the surgeon will connect a pressure sensor, which will go in front of the shunt valve. In the abdomen, the surgeon will connect the tubing to the cephalopump. The cephalopump reads the pressure in the head and in the abdomen. From this information, it decides whether to turn on the micropump to assist in pulling fluid from the skull. Here is the micropump. This is where the sensor goes. This is the battery underneath this board here. And this is our custom printed circuit board. And since the device will be implanted, the device is capable of wireless charging. Once implanted, the cephalopump can be connected to another device over Bluetooth using our brain drain application. To start the app connection, select the device in the Bluetooth drop-down menu. The application will allow the user to change pressure parameters in order to best address the patient needs. In the live data tab, the user can read live pressure data sent from the device. Finally, when the user is done reading live data, they can also save the data to their device. In conclusion, the cephalopump is a device that smoothly integrates into existing shunt systems and will help treat hydrocephalus by pumping excess fluid out of the brain. It is the first device of its kind that would be able to drain fluid against high abdominal pressures and would allow for accurate continuous pressure readings outside of the hospital setting. With the cephalopump, we can give patients more control over their treatment options and help doctors improve patient lives.